Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can display the current time in our MIT App Inventor project. So let's click on the new project. So, you know, whenever we create any app like game or anything, so we can display the current today's time in the top bar. We can do this. A lot of website and a lot of apps do this. Okay. So how we can do this in App Inventor. So here we go. So timer. Okay. Display. Now, this is our app, okay? So like it's the layout and I'm gonna use here the horizontal arrangement and make this with this fill parent like this, okay? This is our main app and this is our and this is our top bar, okay? So for that, we need to use here the clock. So click on the sensor and just use here the clock, this one, okay? Now, let's go to the block here. Now, first of all, what we need to do, go to the design and we need to use here the label where we need to display that, okay? So user interface and just drag and drop here one label like this now let's go to the block here first i'm using here only one label for now okay now let's create a variable and this is for like you can say the timer and i'm going to just assign here that value to something nothing like this okay now whenever the screen will in a slice okay first of all we need to set that timer set that variable should be the clock and you will see here the here the option of uh, timer now now you can see the call now okay so now means this is that is the current timing now how we can use how we can display it so for that we need to use here the label okay so i'm going to use here the label set label that one now i need to use here that text and i'm going to use here the join like this so first of all i need to display suppose uh, the time suppose the r okay what is the r for now like suppose this is the 10 pm right now okay so i need to display that that should be a 10 okay so how we, how we can do this so click on clock and you will see here the r r option uh where is r just scroll down you can see the r instant okay that we need to pick like this and what is instant instant is something from where you want to pick the r value so you can see this is the instant we create like clock now so i'm going to use here the timer this one from here from here we have said that from here we need to we need to get the r value okay now simply just copy paste this and put here and use here the column like to separate the time okay r and everything r minute and seconds now i'm going to use here then again like another string i'm going to use multiple strings here because i need to display the timer also okay that's it so i'm going to add one more here and I need to do one thing like we have just got the R. Okay. So now I need to get the minute. So scroll down and you will see here the minute option. Okay. Just this is minute. Okay. Get that minute. And from that the same instant we need to get that minute. And again we just need to get the seconds. So I'm going to just get the not seconds from here. Like from seconds should be from here like this. And the instant is like simply. Okay. Like this. Good. Now this one you can just remove it from here okay like this so this will get the current time minute and seconds so let's go to the design i'm gonna just see how this will work okay and as you can see 22 24 and 15 that's showing me let me just make that uh you know you know the center value and make that level something around 40 so you can see the actual value here. you can see 20 24 and 29 you can you can just use your one button to get the current time okay so if i will just use your one button okay like this so and I'll, I'll, i'm gonna just do it everything here like this make, make sure just drag and drop this is also okay remove that screen and go here and let's click on that button you can see 25 now 12 seconds 13 seconds that's fantastic now if you want to make it like you know running so how we can do this so because we are we need to click on again and again so we can use here a timer so you can see the timer option just use here the clock okay and you are using here the one second thousand okay so we are using the clock here so i'm going to use here the clock and the timer this one and all the things should be you know just just here that's it no you don't need to you know uh, use the button to click again you can see 50 51 so this is your time so same thing you can do for the data also okay so if you have